pressure washers, power washers, how to start them correctly, how to start them properly. I felt the need to do this video for you guys because I had a rental company a little while ago who asked me, they said, Steve, why does our pressure washers keep coming back with broken ropes, broken starter cords on them? Nobody else breaks any ropes on anything, but just the pressure washers do. I think I might know the answer to that question. Guys and girls, welcome back to Steve's Small Engine Saloon. There's my website right there, .com, in case you want to go look at that. Starting a pressure washer, most of us know the correct procedure. I mean, we turn the we turn the on off switch to the on position, we pull the choke out, we make sure there's fuel in it, and then we start pulling that cord out to start that unit right there. There's a big thing right here, a big part of this procedure that a lot of people don't know. I know a lot of you guys do know this, so if you already know this, it's just a little refresher course for you but uh, I do know that there's a lot of people that don't know this. We're gonna go outside right now so I can show you a little demonstration on this and show you what the problem is for most people who it won't start or they're breaking their starter cord on that thing. Let's go outside. All right, I got all the hoses hooked up right now. I got the water turned on and I'm not going to pull the trigger on this wand right now because I want to show you guys. I know this is a little bit exaggerated what I'm going to do right now, but I just want to show you right now how that builds pressure if you're not pulling that wand trigger right there to release the pressure. Watch this. It's all right, like the third pull in it. That is hard to pull. I honestly feel like if I'm going to pull that rope any harder right now, it's gonna break that rope. All you have to do, release the pressure on that. Pull the trigger on that, release it, and keep your hand on that trigger to keep that water peeing out the end. And then, uh, watch this. Pulls over way Simple as that. So I know a lot of you guys will watch that clip right there and you said, well, the on off switch wasn't even on, the, the choke wasn't even on, of course it's not gonna start. That wasn't the point of that clip, you guys. The point I was making there was that, uh, how it builds pressure and you do that too many times and you can't, even if all that was set up properly, it's not gonna start anyway because you can't pull that rope out fast enough to start the engine. You release the pressure on that wand like that and it's going to have no resistance on that starter rope and you're going to be able to it's going to feel like pulling a lawnmower over obviously this only applies to pressure washers because of that pressure that builds in that pump so i hope that helped some of you guys out there maybe i did save some of you some money give me that thumbs up button guys hit that like button comments right underneath this uh, video right now tell me what you think subscribe to my channel if you already haven't and uh, share this with your friends. Always here to help you guys save some money. Till the next video, guys. Steve out.